For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Dexter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. This is how it happens. You cannot hide from me, boy! Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Anybody press all the buttons? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! Okay, I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Nominal and unchanged. <laughs> Nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I've pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with the final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Or, uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. Wow. Two years. What the hell? 
Anyways, Tonse, Tonse, people. My name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short. Welcome to some Jack 2. I am blown away already. I'm going to tell you right now, there's some difference of... Oh. <laughs> First death. First thing I was going to say is that I'm recording in my living room at the moment. Due to there not being any power in my room, if you guys have seen my YouTube post. But yeah, uh, this is the loudest part of the house, so you might hear a lot. I know how to roll, Dax. Don't worry. Prison escape in progress. No way. Ooh, that's a high ledge. Try jumping once, then jump again while in the air to reach that one. There are lots of crimson guard crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate. Whoa. So we were pumped to dark eco, and now we can have like this evil mode, like this berserker mode. What? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Wow. Jack is now a man, right? How old is Jack now? Like 20? 18? Oh. Two hits. Okay. This is insane. Also, this is on uh, open goal. This is a work in progress build, so may crash and uh, have little weird glitches and stuff like that. Little bugs here and there. The work in progress. Oh, bro. Oh. You can get a longer jump by rolling into it. Oh. These precursor orbs are worth a lot now. We might find a few hidden around or get some doing difficult tasks. We'll be able to buy stuff with them. Insane, dude. Insane. Everything's changed from what I know from the first game. My lord, they're shooting me from below. Ah! Motherfuckers! I'm just also blown away that we heard Daxter or Jack talk. This is totally fun. Pearl's my boy, yo. Oh, that's cool. We can hit him while they're down. Nice. Whoa. Also, you might hear the dog. That's also another reason why I didn't want to record the living room, but I have no choice. I really wanted to see what happens in Jack 2. <laughs> okay. Um, dude, these precursor orbs are like rare now. Well, he did say it before. So. Wonder what they have now. Do we buy things or? Dude, the tone of this game just changed from like the first game is all like happy and cheerful, and this one's just like serious and like. We're free, Jack. Oh, Thanks whoa. to me. Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? We'll get that back. Whoa. Guy, all right. We're free. Freedom. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Eh, uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on if I were you. 
by order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis. Everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Take him out! Wow. What the Damn, fuck? Bro, what? Holy shit. He's gone barrel. That was cool. Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Right. Run. Well, what does that mean, use? The city map is displayed in the lower right. Follow the icons on the what map to the hell? Did I just hijack the vehicle? Welcome to the city transportation system. What the fuck? I just hijacked the vehicle. Oh. Oh. Bro. I suck at driving. Come on, go, go, get out of here. It's like GTA, just run. We'll eventually lose them. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Core sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for the city, you know. Big in the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then maybe we'll talk. Well, why am I always doing things for people. Whoa, like this is very sad. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like very sad about this, but also very intrigued. Like this is so cool. What the fuck? Big upgrade. Oh, what the heck? Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, we'll try to be like discreet as possible with this. I mean, as much as I can be. I'm like, oh, dude, the music and like 
Oh, I'm just in so awe. Oh, sorry if I'm quiet. Like, I'm just admiring everything and just speechless. This is so fucking different. Just amazing, beautiful, many feet. What the hell? Nothing so far. Okay, we're supposed to come here, right? We to go over here. And then what? Is this where we're supposed to go? Alright, I took a look at the map. And we are supposed to go this way. Whoa. I just don't know where we're supposed to go from here. Also, you might hear my cat. I have... Like, five cats. Two are mine, two are my mother's, and then I believe one is my sister. I, I, I'm not sure. She barely even take care of it. <laughs> Mostly me and my mother taking care of the, the cats. Cause, uh, well, it's not hard to take care of a cat, right? You just feed it. Clean the litter box, and that's it, right? We do have a dog. The dog's a little bit higher maintenance. A little bit. He's a uh, very loud, very vocal dog. Loves to bark a lot and talk and everything. Sorry, I just went on went on a long rant about my pe my pets. Oh boy. I think this is the right tower. I hope it is. Otherwise, I'm just climbing a tower for the fun of it, I guess. Bro. No way. Come on. All right. Oof. Oh, this is the flag. Oh, this is the right place. I got it. Guys are in. Gonna <laughs> destroy the old building for it. I mean, he must be impressed, right? Then again, that building was falling apart. Okay, where do I go from here? Let's follow this path. This follow the rickety bridge. I think. I'm not sure. I think we go back to the way we came. I think. I'm not sure. I'm scared. I think we need to go back to the city, Jack. No shit, Daxter. I'm just kidding. It's so weird hearing Jack's voice. Like it's cool. Like I like it. It reminds me of like Batman or Batman Beyond. Is it the same voice actor? I really like it though. A different change. Definitely like a much needed change to the thing tell a more serious story. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Alright. Oh shit. Didn't know it was gonna break like that. Escape. Oh, this isn't a quick escape. Shit. Oh, they didn't see me. Look at that. Actually, this turned out to be better. Oh my god, we dodged it just like that. Nope. Never mind.
Oh. Oh crap. Run. Run before they come. Run. Oh shit, we made it. Oh, thank God. Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. The Baron turned off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> well, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the Guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? There ain't no petting zoo out there. Peeps be getting deep sexed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. I'd like to give him a touching moment. A touching moment? Just... All right. Leave the ejector down to turn on the water, right? Right? That's what I got from that. Sorry, I was just like mesmerized by like Dexter's animations. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just amazed. All right, this is beautiful. <laughs> I am taking the wrong way. Yes, I am. Bro, I suck at driving. Well, that happened. Maybe I'm just better off being on the ground. <laughs> Next sector, like, oh my, there's so much going on. I'm so, no hover zone, rude. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my room. All right, like I was just, I, I was live streaming on Twitch. I was doing strat roulette with my friends for Rainbow Six Siege. And all of a sudden, everything just went black. And then when my father tried to, uh... My father tried to, uh... Whatchamacallit? Reset all the fuse box. Reset the fuse box and, like, everything. Um, none of the fuses turned on, but just a few. Like, like the... Most of the upstairs lights aren't on, or power isn't on. And I'm just... Dark. Like, my whole room is just has no power, so... That was a big... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. No, but yeah, that was a big shock. Uh, I was very sad about that, because I couldn't... I was going to record Jack and Daxter after I was done live streaming. And now, uh, yeah. But don't worry, you guys are still going to see this. Found a way, which is the living room. But it's the most noisiest room in the house, so... Apologies if you hear family and such also pets bro oh what the hell okay well they died just the same what the hell is that all these new things whoa and everything's harder now but at least we get more health right like I don't have to I think I die in four hits now instead of a bunch Whoa. Yo. Oh, there's a precursor. Oh, 
star. Damn. Oh, now I'm curious how Kiara looks. Oh, Kira, is it Kira? Kiara? I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Because it's been two years, right? That's a big change. Like, two years is a lot of time when you're, like, growing from a teenager and everything like that. I know that. Oh, dude, I'm scared of this thing. What? Get up. Oh, shit. Parkour. Parkour, parkour. Ah. I'm also noticing there's more enemies this time around. <laughs> there's more combat. Yeah, I don't want to screw this up. You guys weren't lying, man. This game is... Oh. Oh, boy. Ah! Now I can see how this connects to Ratchet and Clank. Like, now, just seeing this world now. That's... I can definitely see the similarities now. In the first game, I was like, ah, there's no way, because this one has to do with magic and stuff, unless, you know, it's space magic, and that makes sense, right? Because in Ratchet and Clank, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't remember, uh, what was it called? It was the one with the space witch. It was, uh, Into the Nexus, there you go. That one had to do with magic. What? Oh my god. He's messing me up. The heck? Right? I don't know where we're going, but alright. Some leading me somewhere. Some type of progress. Oh, oh, oh what? What the fuck? Man. Okay, that wasn't smart of me. What do I do here? Ah, oh, the valve. Hello, me. Oh my God. say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve. Well, we know it works, and so I think we have water now. Oh, dude, that's right on the close time. Oh wait, there's a vehicle right there. You can see it off. Live. He ain't sealing shit off. I bet. I bet it's off limits. Where is this where we're supposed to go? Whoa. Greetings, great warrior. I sense there is a dark rage burning within you. And in time, it will destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies. Those 
those creatures you call the metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems, and I will teach you how to control these powers. Oh, okay. Well, that's how I... Well, then. I gotta slay 25 of these metalheads. Oh, they're scared of me, but the guards, the guards are like, la di da di da <laughs> Well, not, not activated, I just, I don't know why I activated it so, like, prematurely like that, but it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. You can definitely see, like, the, the graphical difference, though, from the first game to the second game, like, damn. The animation, the world. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so friggin' good, I'm just... Ah. I'm so glad I'm playing this. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is a no -cover zone. Like, I've been playing my Nintendo Switch like for the past six hours, five hours. I'm feeling really, really shitty because I'm like, damn, there's no power in my room. Oh, oh, this is bad, this is bad. I didn't see him, I didn't see him, I didn't see him. No way you had to... Oh boy. Oh, what is that? No way. What the fuck was that about? I died instantly. This is insane, dude. Okay, okay, we'll go this way. This time I'll pay attention to the map. But I still don't know what that green thing is. What is that? What? The ring challenge, bro. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'll try again. I'll try once more. And if I fuck it up this time, I'm done. Bro, still, like, the turning just bugs me. Now that there's destructibility, it's just like, bro. <gasps> oh my god. Fuck this. I can't right now. I'll do it another time, okay? When I have more time and, and when I'm in my room. <laughs> The reason why I say more like later on or when I have more time is just because I'm in my living room and I don't get much time in the living room because it's not very quiet, if that makes sense. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now, when do we see the shadow? When I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. 
You're sending us in, tough guy. So what's with this wheel dealer body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. All right, well, he's going to find out what's coming to him. This Baron sucks. But he's fighting, like, he's fighting something and keeping all the prisoners, you know, going out. It must be something bad. Like, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, maybe there's, like, a bigger threat that he's battling. And we're just ruining it, or, like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking about, like. But other than that, he could just be a terrible guy, or he could just have a plan with an agenda. That makes sense. I don't know, these are just my assumptions. What the fuck? Is that a fucking tank? Did I get- do I get to drive the tank? Do I get to drive the tank? No? Aw. Unauthorized use of fortress door. Activating security tank. What the fuck? I don't get to drive a fucking tank, I get to run away from a fucking tank. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Oh, dude, what the hell is this game? What did it turn into? Run. No! Bitch! Unauthorized use of fortress. Okay. Activating security tank.
a security pass. We need those to get through city checkpoints. Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? This place has too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. This area is off limits. Patrolling Sector 9. Sorry guys, uh, my family's home, but I have to be like really quiet, or you know, I have to make sure it's quiet and stuff, so, yeah. The demolition duo has returned! One barbecued ammo dump, served up hot! We saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakow. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment delivered. A bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? All right, let's do this. This is a no buffer zone. Nothing so far.
on. Come on. Come on. Don't let this be my downfall, please. No. Oh, this is not good. Oh, yes. There it is. No. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to ask Everything's about. cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. You crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco oil is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect slowly. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's Mascot of the Month. Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this bird. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zig! Here, Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware, and I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? Please advise. Alright, people, so we're gonna leave this episode. I know it sucks. I'll catch you good I'll catch you tomorrow for some more Jack too. Um I'm sorry that the thing is kinda like fell apart at the end there, but my family's home now and I'm gonna have to edit this right away right after I'm done filming. Um anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, my initial thoughts are this is way better than the first game. This is a different tone. I'm loving the voice acting. I'm loving everything, the style, the way it feels. Now I can see why or see how it connects to Ratchet and Clank. You know, how they're based in the same universe. Now I, I get it now. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this journey of me playing Jack and Dexter. And uh, right after this, we're going to hit Jack 3, I believe. And I think PSP games, I believe. I believe. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens when we get there. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, my nephew said we made even blueberries on my niece. Uh, anyways, without further ado, bye bye. Smell you later. Have a great day. Farewell. Eat some watermelon. Bye bye. Bye bye.